Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel, and it's time to do freshest PSVR news in the village. We've got some awesome news today. But before I start, if you like what you see, please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe because it's always better when it's more of us. Plus, you'll be up to date with everything PlayStation VR. Okay, let's do it, and we're gonna start from LA Noir VR case file. So this was out on PC for a while. It was a PC exclusive. Even other day, somebody on Reddit asked if it's on PSVR. I I replied and said no only PCs. And today, when you look at Peggy website, the game got rated for PlayStation VR, which means it's coming. Nice to have Rockstar's game on PlayStation VR. LA Noir had a very good animation system, which kind of not work that great, but apparently it looks great in VR. So basically, in the case files, you still solving the cases from the main game. So that is awesome. This game got few locomotion systems. One of them is same one as in Sprint Vector or in Creed when you wave in your arms around to smoothly locomote. That's kind of cool. I might actually play it like that. Now, there is no release date yet, but I'm assuming if it's got rated on Peggy website, it might be a couple of months and we might be able to see it on PlayStation VR. What an awesome time. Another good high quality game coming to our headsets. So basically, you going to be solving real cases from 1947 Los Angeles. Seven of these cases was specially recreated for VR version. So you're not getting full LA Noir, but you're getting part of this game which is awesome and I'm already cannot wait. Okay, and now update on Rocket Fury. They wanted to have multiplayer patch in August. They did everything what they could, but sadly, once again, they didn't pass the test of Sony's quality assurance. But once again, they said they can fix it soon. The number of bugs that Sony QA found is not that many, and they confident they can do it soon. Next certification process date is on the 22nd of August, and if they gonna manage to pass, after that they gonna be releasing to all the Rocket Fury owners. So finally soon you might be able to play multiplayer in this game. And now let's speak a bit about Echoes VR. The developers posted little tweet reminding everyone that this game still existed because it was quiet since the last update about this game. They didn't say it much, but they said it's coming soon. And from what I'm thinking, it's gonna be sooner than later. So I'm assuming we might see this game this year. Now they said it will support aim controller. Basically you go in underground, well under the sea, but also under the ground because you going into the caves in order to save humanity from the absolute disaster which is basically extinction because sadly humans messed up the atmosphere and now nobody can live properly. But don't worry, you are here to help them. And now we've got here a new trailer for Firewall Operation Dark Web. So finally they showed off a trailer. What this game getting is new contractors, new maps, new items and all that shit. Now, Operation Dark Web is free, but you have to pay for Oppass if you want new contractors. New map, it will be free. Mid-season update will introduce another new map. So you're gonna get two new maps. Even if you don't want to pay, you're getting some free stuff. But if you want new contractor and some other new stuff, then you have to buy Oppass. And that's it, bye. 